Hey Front Range, if you're sitting there watching this, you're probably right now in the middle of a community group. And first, I just wanna say thank you for living out one of our values of uh, authentic community. By you engaging in a community group, we believe that will help create life change and God will be able to use you in even greater ways. So I just wanna say thank you. You know, honestly, as we're uh, sitting here today, I never could have imagined what God was gonna do with our church. When we started our church a little over four years ago, uh, I knew that God had called us to this place, but I also knew this place was very difficult. In fact, this area is known as a church planter's graveyard. In fact, 95% of church plants don't make it to year two in this area. One of the local pastors here told me in uh, 18 months leading up to him launching a church, he saw 24 church plants come and go right here in Castle Rock. And even if a church makes it to year two, only 90 to 95% of those churches make it to 500 people. So to be where we are front range is truly miraculous. And we can only give God the glory and the honor for what he's done. In four short years, we've seen over 400 people make commitments to Christ. Imagine that. I mean, think about that for a moment. In four years, in this area alone, we've seen God draw 400 people to himself. It's truly incredible. In fact, missiologists, they say that uh, after the third year of a church, that uh, those who accept Christ drastically reduce, like so the number of people that accept Christ drastically reduces uh, from there on out through the life of the church. But uh, we're not seeing that. We're in year four, and in the last five months, we've seen 60 people make commitments to Christ. So Front Range, God is just continuing to do greater things, and we are so blessed by how he's choosing to use us. But God's not only only doing greater things in us, but he's doing greater things through us. When we first moved to Castle Rock, one of the first things that I did was get a meeting with the mayor. And as I sat down with the mayor and I talked about our desire to serve this community and care for people, he told me, he said, the one thing that I would ask of you is that you would not only just be in the parade like many other churches, but you would serve during or after the parade. And so one of the things that I love to do every year is when our church gets together, we build a float, we have a ton of volunteers come out and we serve people, we hand out things, but then afterwards we pick up trash cans. We do whatever the town asks us to do. And it's just our way of just telling the town, hey, we love you, we care about you. We're not just here to build a great church, but we're here to serve our town in a phenomenal way. And uh, Front Range, you're doing that every year at the parade and in so many other ways. And I'm so grateful for you. Not only have you guys been an incredible blessing to our town through being intentional neighbors and the way that you serve people, but we have been able to give away hundreds of thousands of dollars to those in need, to new church plants, and to missions organizations all over the world. In fact, over the last year, because of your generosity, we've been able to, to create a different standard and how we bless those mission organizations around the world and how we start churches and invest in new churches here on the Front Range and throughout America and how we take care of people right here in our own growing town of Castle Rock and in Douglas County. Because of your generosity, we've been able to help women break, through, uh, break free of cultural norms in India. We've been able to help start churches in India and in Kenya. We've been able to help uh, build a clinic and a school in Kenya. Not only that, we've helped launch some churches in significant, significant ways right here on the Front Range and in other parts of the U.S. Because of your generosity, we've been able to help them launch well and reach hundreds of people for the gospel. We've also been able to impact our town in a significant way. We've been able to help give families uh, who are in need some financial assistance. We've been able to give hope and peace and joy to families of special needs kids. We've been able to, to step in and to serve our town when we've been asked and serve in a variety of ways. And Front Range, that's because of your generosity. That's because of what you've done, not just over the last four years, but especially over the last year, we've been able to, because of you, because of your generosity, We've been able to impact the lives of tens of thousands of people. Front Range, thank you. Thank you for being such a generous church who lives out the mission of being intentional neighbors through knowing and following Jesus. Over the last four years, I've been consistently asked, Ernest, when are we gonna get a church building of our own? And I've always kind of responded the same way. I've always said, as soon as somebody writes us a check for $11 million, but you know, over the last year, God's been really speaking to me and to my heart saying, Ernest, I need you to prepare the church for when I give you an opportunity, you can respond immediately. I've always said that we'll do anything to reach people 
who are far from Christ, short of sin. And I believe that if we have a church building, we'll be able to reach more people. In fact, a lot of churches, when they get into a new facility, a permanent facility, they increase by more than 50% that very first weekend. That means that we can reach hundreds of more families immediately just by having, having a permanent facility. Now, I've never dreamt about having a building. I've never desired to have a building. What I have desired is to reach lost people. And our desire from the very beginnings of the church is to serve our town well and to make disciples for Christ. And we believe the next stage to help us effectively make disciples and serve our town and reach lost people is through finding and having a permanent home for Front Range. So Front Range, I'm asking you to pray about what is your involvement in Vision 2020? I'm asking you to pray, God, how do you want to use me to make a difference in places like Kenya and in India and in church plants here in the U.S., here in our own town and in the future of Front Range? You know, I firmly believe that the only way that we're going to see our goal met and, and to be able to make an even greater impact than we already are, that it's going to take sacrifice individually and it's going to take us uniting corporately. That if you and I, if we pray about and decide, hey, God, we can sacrifice this over the next two years to see this dream, to see your kingdom come, to be able to leave a legacy. If we unite together corporately as a church, then we'll see not only the goal of 500,000 reach, but we'll see it surpass and we'll see God do greater things than all we could ask or imagine. So Front Range, I'm asking you to pray about your involvement. How does God want to use you to make a difference in the lives of people, not only in other countries, but right here in our own country and right here at our own church? I'm also asking that as your community group tonight, as you guys pray together, I'm asking you to pray for a few things. Pray for me. Pray that I would have clarity of speech, that I would have clarity of vision, that as I cast the vision, it would, it would be received openly and willingly by people. Pray for our church. Pray that each person that hears the message over the, the, the vision casting of 2020, that each person would ask, God, how do you want me to respond? And that we would respond sacrificially. We would respond generously. I ask you to pray for the impact that we're going to make as a church. Pray for Kenya. Pray for India. Pray for these new church plants, some that we know by name, others that we don't, that are going to reach thousands of people for Christ. And then pray for our future home. God already knows where we're going to be. We just are asking Him to reveal it to us in His perfect timing, His perfect way, and that we would not only have all the funds to be able to, to go forward with it, but that God would then use that place to draw thousands and thousands to himself. Front Range, I love you. I'm so grateful to be your pastor. I'm so grateful for this new adventure that we're on together and for what God has for us over the next two years. And I want you to know I'm praying for you. I'm praying that God would make it very clear to you and what he wants you to do in your life, your family, and this church, and with Vision 2020. I love you guys, and I can't wait to see what God has for us in the future.